we'll start with an opening comment and open up to questions to Coach, followed by Sue Nadwitz. Well, it, it was a tough day for the Thunderwolves, and um, credit goes to uh, the Mankato team and Mavericks that uh, played a hell of a game. And um, early on, we, we thought we had some momentum going on, but we we just couldn't tackle. We we, we seemed like we were wrapping up, and they're running through it and making some big plays. And then we made it 21-7, trying to make a little run at it, and they make two big plays on the third quarter and put it out of reach. And, playing catch up from then and that's not our MO, but uh, proud of our team, proud of the seniors, proud of the way they went about it. My hat's off go to uh, Minnesota State. Just a couple of questions. Coach, what, you know, teams haven't been able to move the ball much against you guys all year. What was Mankato doing that was maybe different or something about that team was able to, to move the ball a little bit? I think the difference was uh, a couple times we weren't able to get off blocks, and then we missed tackles today that we haven't missed. And uh, I thought um, uh, Ryan Schlichte, is that what he says last name? I thought he ran the ball very well and, and created, uh, made some big plays and kept the chains moving and kept our defense out there. So we couldn't get off blocks, and we missed some tackles that we don't normally miss. In a game like this, how, how important would it have been to score the first touchdown? Just given the conditions and it was so big and that opening drive, you know, they, they took the momentum right out. You know, you got to make a decision, like, uh, you know, do you want want the ball or you, you, you know, we got the win with their back in the fourth quarter. You think you got a chance if you get it there? We couldn't get it to the fourth quarter, so scoring first gives you an opportunity to dictate to the game, and that's what they did. They dictated the game. Um, we talk about the defensive effort. Um, obviously, you got the you got the takeaways, but uh, just couldn't limit those big plays. What did you see uh, on DJ? Uh, first and foremost, man, uh, I'm proud of the defense, man. I'm proud of our offense, our team. Period. Uh, Minnesota came out and played a hell of a game. You know, they came and just all I can say, they had a great game uh, defensively. Uh, uh, we didn't eliminate the big big plays. Happen, and uh, they just went up from there, and they took the momentum out of us. But like I said, you know, I'm really proud of the team. I'm really proud of our brothers. Marcus, all week you knew you had uh, the opportunity to be the guy, uh, the guy this week. Um, kind of just talk about uh, your performance and uh, being able to to do that in a playoff setting. Well, I couldn't have done anything today if it hadn't have been for the line. I think they did a great job. We just have a couple things we need to execute. And I feel like we're really not that far off, despite what the score says. And then uh, being a, such a young offense with the majority of the guys coming back, how excited are you for um, turning the page and, and moving on to next season? Uh, you know, it's really exciting because uh, we, we have something for everybody next year. And then Amu, just you know, being a senior and, and ending your career, what, uh, what do you look back on with uh, your time as a member of the pack? Just the main blessings, man. Uh, Coach Riston, Coach Leo, the whole coaching staff, man. You know they they brought me in, and man, I, I have ne- I have learned so much, you know, day in and day out. You know, with football and with life, and you know, moving on forward. You know, I'm gonna carry that on, and you know, just try to get better and just try to compete in life. You know, be great. Um, um, a lot of people focus on the Mankato run game. Were they able to get some things in the pass game maybe you guys weren't expecting a little bit? Um, they, did, um, they didn't do nothing special. You know? uh, they did everything that we, we saw on film. Uh, there were just some minor mistakes that uh, our technique wasn't in. Just, we just didn't do our technique right and just next thing you know, a big play happened. And they just executed on from there on. Um, you know, learning point from this, man, we just got to go out there and compete next year. Uh, the people, you know, the young classmen, best, best believe they're going to come back better, come back stronger. Uh, yeah. Is it kind of tough that the season ends up the same field the last three years and just couldn't quite get over that home? Oh, uh, yeah, it does suck, you know. But. <laughs> It's best believe, you know, 
our program is just going to get better, you know. Every day, you know, we're going to come back, you know, we're going to go out, you know, appreciate all the seniors and all the, the coaching staff. But, you know, there's a standard that is held over here, and we're going to go and compete every day to get better. Anything else? Best of luck to Mankato and uh, Minnesota State. You guys run a hell of a program here, and we're honored to compete with you. And we want to wish you the best of luck as we as you guys move forward.